Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, so we're supposed to find Joey, right? Well, good thing we already had him registered, because he's right here. There he is. Uh, don't you usually have a lot to say? Joey! We were so worried! We thought you were kidnapped by the Rare Hunters! Oi, you. What did you say, Joey? I'll destroy you. What? Duel me. Joey, what's wrong with you? And after I beat you up, I'll destroy that punk Yugi. He must be brainwashed. I hope you like shadow games, because you're about to play one. I, I kind of don't. But... Fine. Well, I've beaten him many times, and it doesn't look like his deck is that much different. So I should be ready for him all the same. So, uh, you have enough face down cards? Really? Might as well try to lure one of them out. Fairy box. Oh, I remember this one. If he calls it correct, my attack power is reduced to zero. But if he calls wrong, I attack as normal. Apparently, I passed the check. Which is awesome. But I still lose my Gilgarth. And unfortunately, it's also not in the graveyard. Therefore, I need to get a couple more monsters, at least three, in there before I can special summon Dark Necrofear. But he has to pay 500 life points every standby phase to keep this in play. And if he can't do that, then he's pretty much gonna get screwed. I think I might as well get rid of Mystic Plasma Zone. I was thinking New Doria to get it closer for Dark Necrofear, but what if I'm left with no monster? Sasuke Samurai number four. What does that one do? If this card battles a monster, toss a coin and call it heads or tails for a damage calculation. If you call it right, destroy the opponent's monster with this effect. Ooh, that's a bit raw. Well, he can't battle yet because of swords. Maybe if I can keep Fairy Box on the field for as long as I can, then he has to destroy it himself. Oh, here we go! This is helpful. We'll play Foolish Burial. Can't use Obelisk, obviously. So I just have to settle for Barrel Dragon. And out of all these, I might want to get rid of Sasuke Samurai. And the reason why is because if he attacks anything, he can destroy the monster. And I still have my Swords of Revealing Light anyway, so I'm not too worried. Damn. If this card battles a monster, is that only if it attacks? But I gotta remember, I also, there's also that fairy box. So maybe I shouldn't attack yet. The A forces? Oh god. 
That's going to be a bit of a nightmare, because thanks to the A-Forces, warrior monsters will be getting a buff for each one that's on the field. Are you kidding me? Again? Well, Fairy Box is pretty much keeping me from attacking right now. Because I can't risk losing my good monsters. Metal Morph. And another DD Assailant. Was that correct? It wasn't correct. So he still has to do the attack. Okay, we dodged a bullet right there. There, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Ouch! He still had Metal Morph on that, I forgot. Yep, he's going all out with everything. So I might have to take the damage. Just to get rid of the one with Metal Morph. Not a good place I want to be right now, but I pretty much have to suck it up. Oh, this is really helpful. That just got me out of a jam. Let's see if he'll bring in something else to attack with. He will. Oh, that's awesome. There, get rid of your whole field. Now it's time to come back. Worst thing that happens, I end up doing zero damage. And that's end that ended up what I'm doing. That's shitty. Oh well. That gives him more time. Baby Dragon! Then again, Fairy Box is probably the sole reason why he's keeping this on the field. Let me play United We Stand. There. Now it's a little less enticing to attack me. We'll just have to wait him out. Oh, actually, this is going to be really good. Trap Master? And get rid of that fairy box? Then it's fair game. Dangerous Machine Type 6? Oh, I remember this. That one can be a bit annoying. Alright, so now I'll summon Voice Raider to the field. We'll flip summon Trap Master. And finally get rid of that godforsaken fairy box. And look at Mechanical Chaser now. 4250? We won by virtue of being patient. And honestly, I don't think I would have won had it not been for Mirror Force. That was an ace draw. Boom. We came back and won. Ooh, I'm one duel away from leveling up. That's what I'm talking about. Wah! Wah! Joey! 
Huh. Not bad. I'll beat you next time. Still brainwashed? You'll regret this. Ah, Joey, wait! Joey left. Hey, are you okay, Bonga? I was late again. I sensed the presence of a shadow game. Don't tell me you and Joey dueled in one. Joey wasn't his normal self. There was something different wrong. Something different wrong? As in saying that there was something usually wrong with Joey normally? He seemed to be obviously painful. Are you saying that Joey is annoying and painful? <laughs> this was translated very weirdly. The rare huntress was a brainwashed Joey. Merrick, this is unforgivable. I wholeheartedly agree. Alright, so now what do we do? I guess I can just look around in the other city. Because wouldn't Taya be threatened too? They usually say, like, Yugi's friends. And the main friends are usually, like, Joey and Taya. Hi. Hi, Bonga. How's everything? We haven't dueled in a while. Wanna compete? Oh, you're no fun. Bye. Oh, I guess that wasn't supposed to happen yet. Maybe I gotta find Yugi first. Just to keep him updated. Maybe he found out more. And if I end up having to duel him, at least I'll be able to level up if I win. Hey, anything new? Bonga! Now Taya's gone! What? If you see her, let me know right away. Of course. If Taya met the same fate as Joey, let's hope that she's okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, I was supposed to talk to Yugi first. Hey, nice contacts. Taya! Thank goodness! Yugi was worried that you were kidnapped, but I'm glad you're safe. You're Merrick's enemy! You're the friend of that fool, Yugi! No. Taya's acting weird, too! Duel me! Great. Merrick works fast! <laughs> oh, well, guess I'll have to duel Taya as well. Ugh, I didn't save after the last duel. But I don't think Taya should be able to beat me, right? Like, if I somehow lose to Taya, that would be very surprising. Alright, your move. Skelengel? Ah, whatever, draw another card. I couldn't care less. Ooh, Dark Magician Girl? And Reign of Mercy! Okay, I was not expecting a Dark Magician girl. And Dark Magician's Tome of Black Magic. What does that do again? Okay. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you recover 1,000 life points. I'm not gonna waste my MST on that. If I can use Mirror Force later. I'll still get to use Needleworm's effect, at the very least. Alright, do your worst. Cyber Jar is not bad, either. Maybe I'll go straight to my Cyber Jar play. Red Archery Girl? And give to the Mystical Elf. Okay, she's gonna slow things down. But I can get rid of that Dark Magician girl.
If I'm lucky, I'll get a ton of monsters to work with. Dispel. Wabaku. Skull Servant. Solemn Wishes. And give to the Mystical Elf. Ooh, Nudoria. I'm already in the lead. Offerings to the Doomed. Giant Germ. That's solid as well. Bottomless Trap Hole. Night Assailant. Let me see if you'll attack that Skull Servant. No. Wabaku, Gift to the Mystical Elf, and uh, Solemn Wishes are definitely in play. Alright, well, if you're gonna do that... One of them is Wabaku, and the other one is Gift of the Mystical Elf. So I hope this one's Wabaku. Well, that answered that question. But look how much life points she has now. 12,100. Good lord, she's going in raw. This is not exactly an all-star lineup, but I'll take what I can get. Plus, I have some backup if I need it. This will be a bit of a slow burn, unfortunately. But hey, if I draw even one United We Stand, everything just can really go bottom up for her. It took all my attacks to finally get her, like, behind me. And as soon as she draws, she's gonna be back in the lead. That's how weird this duel has gotten right at the start. Dispel? Oh, you guessed poorly. That was not even a spell. Oh my god, I have all my- all three of my giant germs already. Alright, let me activate Swords of Revealing Light. Just so I can reveal what that is. Alright, it's fair game now for who I want to attack with. I'm gonna use my Trap Master to get rid of that Solemn Wishes. Otherwise, we'd be here a long time. And we pretty much will be if Night Assailant just attacks. Only 200? That's probably my weakest attacker ever. You know, without buffs and debuffs. Like, all my heavyweights are pretty much just tucked in the middle of my deck. And it's not gonna get better anytime soon. Oh, you have your own offerings to the doomed. Well, that showed me. Oh my god, I can actually have something with more oomph. That pleases me. Get rid of that Solemn Wishes, thank you. In all seriousness, this lineup pretty much sucks. But it is what it is. We gotta get through it somehow. That's the third Skalingel. Wow, she's not getting much variety in her deck either. 
mean, look how pathetic this is. Like 200, 500, 1000, 1000, 2000. Like, even if I have all of them do direct attacks, it's gonna be very slow. She's gotta hope for a miracle. And I don't think she has anything that can take out 10 cards at once. Alright, your move. And you still can't attack me, either. Oh, that's right, both of us skipped her draw. No, she skipped her draw phase. So because of that, she's, she's screwed. And she couldn't play anything else. Alright, it's over now. I win. Like, seriously, my highest attack power monster without any augments was 1,200. How lame is that? Like, if I was going against someone like Yuki, I'd have been crushed. Level up! Yeah, yeah. Huh? What? What's going on? Taya, are you okay? Yeah, I am. I think. I don't remember what I've been doing. Taya! Oh, Yugi. Are you hurt? No, I don't remember much, but I seem fine. You look like you were brainwashed. How dare America attack Taya and my friends! There's no time to waste, Bonga. Yeah. I'll help too! No, Taya. It's too dangerous. But if you see a suspicious duelist, call us right away. You got it! I mean, anybody can be a suspicious duelist if you're paranoid enough. That, that sun is very unsettling, just outside my, uh, bedroom. But, anyway, now that we leveled up, why don't we head back to the card shop? Because I think another password's available. A password puzzle. The other P word. Never underestimate Shin... Shina, Shinado. I think that says Shinado. Yep, indeed it did. Alright, I'm going against a Reflect Bounder and a Desk Kangaroo. With Judge Man and Blue Eyes White Dragon. And here I have Ceasefire, Zero Gravity, and the Shallow Grave. With Shinado, King of a Higher Plane, Shinado's Ark, and Night Assailant. Oh well, might as well play my Ritual spell now. Judge Man can go, and Night Assailant can go. Alright, Penguin Soldier can go back. When this card destroys the defense position monster and sends it to the graveyard, result of battle, inflict damage to your life points equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. Change the battle positions of all phase-out monsters on you and your opponent's side of the field. Something tells me I have to do that. But then, Shinada won't be able to attack. So I think I already screwed it up. Like, I screwed it up very early. Because so I'm pretty sure I need to use zero gravity for that. Alright, so let's try this again, and this time I'm going to Ritual Summon it in Defense Position. There, let's do it like this. Alright, 
Penguin Soldier again can come back to the hand. Might as well summon it. And Shallow Grave. Let's see, out of Kiku, Koitsu, Judge Man, and Night Assailant. Something tells me Kiku would actually be very good. Jirai Gumo, okay. Flip all face down defense positions on the field face up. Flip effects are not activated at this time. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Flip 500 points of damage to your opponent's life points for each effect monster on the field. Well, I should definitely do that. That's probably why you don't select Judgment, too. Damn, that ceasefire play did a lot. Alright, let's activate Penguin Soldier to attack Jirai Gumo. There, that's gone. And Blue Eyes White Dragon can take out Dis Kangaroo. Attacking Reflect Bounder would be a death sentence. And that's why you use Zero Gravity. Then Reflect Bounder will no longer be in attack position. Plus, Shinado gets to attack now. Like so. Act to that, fake that effect to do 1700 damage. And Kiku can do the rest. We win. Then we'll have to level up again to see if that's actually the last puzzle. Kind of think of it. This was like 12 puzzles. How many did Intermediate have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12! How about Beginner? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All these have 12! So I think that was the last puzzle! Yeah, there's no more puzzles after this! We did them all! That is awesome stuff! And now that I'm level 22, we get the Forever Ones unlocked. Well, we got a lot of time! I guess we're just going to buy cards. Heavy Slump, Poison Fangs, Chain Burst, Fulfillment of the Contract, and cent Centrifugal Field. Okay, that's interesting if you like to use Fusion Monsters. Ritual Weapon, Spell Purification, White Magician P Pikaru, Pikaru. Uh, and covering fire. I'll have to look at each of these cards individually in my own time. Because some of them might be good additions. While well, nature is released, release that. Eh. Spell stopping statute. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Oh man, I've seen that a lot in Legacy of the Duelist. Absolute End. Wait a minute, you can only activate this during your opponent's turn. This turns the attacks from your opponent's monsters become direct attacks to your life points. Hmm, that might come in handy if I want to protect my monsters from being destroyed. And Doriato's Blessing. Next we got Kozaki's Self-Destruct Button. Heavy Slump. Heavy Slump again. Contract with Exodia. And Ring of Destruction. Okay, Ring of Destruction could be pretty good. Hallowed Life Barrier, Necklace of Command, Level Conversion Lab, 
and Divine Wrath. That could be pretty decent, too. Enervating Mist, Fruits of Kozaki Studies, and Cross Counter. Look at the top three cards of your deck and return those cards to the top of the deck in any order. Honestly, that's pretty helpful, too, if I want to make sure that I draw what I need faster. Getting some useful traps out of this. Lighten the Load, Royal Surrender, and Brain Control. Nice. I don't think I'm gonna get 80% yet. Maybe the next day. Mind Crush. And that's it. That's a bust. Alright, two more packs. What we get? Rock Bombardment, Greed, and Ballista of Rampart Smashing. Alright, what's left? Threatening Roar, Cemetery Bomb. Okay, and that's it. Maybe I want to consider using Cemetery Bomb. If I'm using cards such as Needle Wall and stuff. That fills up graveyards pretty quick. Triangle Ecstasy Spark is the only new card we got out of that. Come on, hook me up with something new so I can get a list. Life Absorbing Machine. Okay, that is the list. That's enough. Beautiful Challenger. Let's see what that one is. What am I missing from there? I'm missing Abyss Soldier, Air Knight, no, not Air Knight Parsheth, Amazon Archer, Harpy Lady 1, Shogun the Spiritualist, Slate Warrior, Sukuyami, Yatakarasu, Dimension Magic, Harpy's Hunting Ground, and Spiritual Energy Settle Machine. So there's a good amount of spirit monsters in this, but some of them I'm not seeing there. Like for instance, a Suza Soldier, Inaba White Rabbit, Hino Kagatsuchi, Yamada Dragon, it could be another pack, so... So out of all this, I got 84.5% of the cards. That's a lot. And I haven't finished the main story yet. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna head home and save. This has been a lengthy episode. Well, if all holds true, we don't have to do any puzzles ever again. So they're all done. Now it's just a matter of finding the rest of the rare hunters and saving Joey. So I guess I'll stop here, and in the next part, we'll uh, continue on from here. See you everyone, thanks for watching.